The trip begins with a river cruise before the short hop out to the Franklin Group. I think what makes this trip different from the others is that uh, it is so close to the coast. So for those of us that uh, get a little bit squirmish, run there on the open water for 20 minutes, but also we're the sole operators out there, so if you want to disappear around into a secluded bay, you can do, and uh, nobody will find you for the day. Andrew Deneen is part of a small army of people working to make this day trip all smooth sailing. 35 minutes is ample time to take in the mangroves of the Mulgrave River before heading seaward for the real adventure. You share your day with less than 100 others, so neither the boat nor the beach ever feels crowded. Once you're on the island, it's pretty much your playground for the day. So the honeymooners have nicked off to the private beaches. The water babies are taking snorkeling and diving tours. And me, I think I'll do some bushwalking. Normanby is only two and a half hectares in size. So while it's difficult to get lost, guides like Captain Jim Katsambas can show you all the ins and outs. So if I was stranded on this island, what could I eat? You could eat a fruit called bush passion fruit. That's the only fruit that we can eat as human That's beings. That's it. What That's about what that berry you're holding? This little guy here is a uh, seed off a seahurst tree, and it's eaten by birds. It's no good for human beings. I'd get sick. You would be sick. Any water? No water. No. <laughs> I would be no. stranded. You would be stranded. If I'm marooned on a deserted island, I always like them to include lunch. Yeah. We're here for about five hours, and how you work off lunch is up to you. live up here and I get to see a lot of other places but this is probably the best kept secret in Cairns. I've been really lazy. I've eaten and I've read and I've swam and I'm actually going to snorkel before I get off the island today. Yeah, sure. I am, I am. So why did you suggest the trip? I tell you what, because I like to dive and I'm getting seasick when I have to stay the whole day on the boat. So I said, okay, maybe it's a good idea to have a dive but then I can go to an island, <laughs> can balance the whole thing again, and it's great. So I can you make can do everything. Dive. If you want to dive, you can dive. If you want to relax on the sand, you can relax. If you want to snorkel, you can see the turtles as well. You know, it's, I mean, it's fantastic. You can do everything. Now it's more than likely that when you're here, you'll be having such a great time. You'll be so overwhelmed by the natural beauty that you will want to stay. Now, if that's the case, you can come here the neighbouring Russell Island and camp out. This is...